Afternoon, everyone. Welcome today to the dead. I'll start again, shall I? Welcome to today's cooking with Scott. Um, today we're doing something a little bit different, and yes, I am slightly cheating because I couldn't get flour, so I've improvised and I bought a Betty Crocker chocolate brownie kit. But I don't want the mint flavour on the top. I'm just going to do the uh, the chocolate brownie because who doesn't like a chocolate brownie, eh? If you don't, you're crazy. I'm going crazy. Sorry about the hat. Um, yeah, my hair is just far too long now to do anything with. So hat it is, I'm afraid, until I get a haircut. Um, so yeah. Firstly, I've got my magic mix. I would assume that it's flour and cocoa powder. But who knows? So, I'm going to cut that open. And we're going to tip it in the bowl. Do you know what? That smells good. I'm just going to get a wooden spoon and uh, we'll be back. Right, there we are, back again. So I've got my wooden spoon. Just so I can break up some lumps in there. Oh, this smells immense. If you could smell this on Smelly Vision or Smell Tube, not YouTube, you would be in the chocolate heaven if you're a chocolate lover. Right, so, to that, we are going to add one of my blue eggs. I mean, this one's not as blue, actually. It's a bit more baby shit colour, I guess, is the way to describe it. Um, so, anyway, let's crack that in there. Into the middle, just like so, without any shell. Look at that, I'm getting a pro at these eggs. Let's pop that in the bin. Rinse the old gunk off me hands. Because I'm a clean freak. Don't know if any of you know that, but I like to be clean. Right, now we need 35 ml of vegetable oil. I haven't got vegetable oil, so I couldn't get it. But I've got sunflower oil, so will it make a difference? We'll find out. Who knows? So, 35 mil, right. Don't laugh, for you, those of you that know I'm not good with numbers. I've got no help today, so we're doing this as we go, all right? Just trust me, I'm a doctor, it's fine. Right, 35 mils. Right. So, we're gonna do. Oh, it's not coming out, there we go. One lot of 15 mil. Coming out very slow. If I open it up, it's gonna come pouring out, isn't it? Right, there's 15. There's another 15. And then let's do a five. That's 35. That's there. And then we want 65 mil of water, which I've already pre-measured out. It's not a lot. So I'm actually gonna mix that together quickly. Give that a little uh, juice round. And then we're gonna add in the water. I'm just gonna add it a bit at a time. Give it a good mix. That all comes together nicely. Add a bit more into that now. Oh, actually, I'll put the rest in. Oh, it's 
the worst that can happen. Give that a real good mix. I'll have to speed this video up, I think. I could be here a while. So now that is looking a bit smoother and a bit creamier. I'm guessing that's how it's supposed to look. Um, yeah, who knows? All right, now this isn't on the ingredients, but if I can find them, you're gonna be quite jealous actually. If I look in this cupboard, somewhere, oh yeah, somewhere. Let me move you there. Got some mint chopped chips. This isn't in the ingredients. I've been given these pathetic little things, chocolate things for the top. No, it's not happening. What we're gonna do, we're gonna open this and eat them like that. I'm gonna pour some in while we're eating them. Stir them in. Oh, look. Heavenly. The more chocolate chips, the better, I say. Just my personal opinion. I don't know how you guys like it. You might just like it plain. This could go really wrong. So. them a real good mix in. A few more. A few more for the pot. A few more for Scott. Mmm. Mmm, yeah. Mmm. That tastes good. I give that a real good mix in. Right, now, I think we're ready. So, this is the bit I'm unsure about, and for you that do baking out there, you'll probably know. I've got me square caked in. Now, I wasn't sure if I need to grease it, or line it, do one or the other, or both. So I've done both. What's the worst that can happen? We're learning here together, you know. I'm not a good cook, and especially not a good baker. So, there's my cake tin, lined and greased. So, let's readjust ya. Let's pour our mix into the uh, cake tin. Try not to leave hardly any behind. I'll get as much out as I can. Spread that out all around the cake tin as evenly as I possibly can. I haven't done a very good job at lining it. So, this may not look the prettiest when it comes out, but who cares? It's chocolate brownie, right? I'll try and get it nice and evenly spread across the tin. Listen to me, I sound like I know what I'm doing, don't I? Baby. This really isn't gonna come out very pretty at all. But I don't care. Right, I need to go and get a spoon to get some of that off. Let's get that goodness off of there. That's it. 
just because I can. I have another mouthful of them. Mm, mm, yeah. I'm just going to sprinkle some over the top as well. They're only going to go to waste, or I'm going to eat them all, so I might as well. Might as well put them in. Mm. Mm. Right. So, let's turn you around. And there we are. We've got our chocolate brownie with our loads of chocolate sprinkles in it and over the top. It's probably going to be far too much chocolate, but I love chocolate and I don't care. So I've got my oven preheated to 180. We're going to open that up. I'm just going to pop it in now for about 20 to 25 minutes. Again, I know, I sound like I know what I'm doing. It's on the box, look. <laughs> so we're just going to set our timer. I'll do 20 minutes, be safe. Let me check it and add another five if I need to. There we go. 20 minutes left. Um, so once that's done, I'm gonna tidy up while that's cooking. And once that's done, uh, we'll see if it's worked. Wish me luck. See you in a minute. Welcome back. Um, as you can hear, me bleep is going off. So uh, time to give it a first check. Get me oven glove. Safety first. No. Oh my god. Oh my god. I don't know what's happened to the side of it, but look at that. Right, let's just put that down on my rack. Let me give it a check to see if it's done. I don't know what I'm checking for. I guess. I'm trying to cut the areas. What am I looking for? Does that look done? I'm kidding. I'd say, I'll give it a couple more minutes because it still does look a little bit wet in places. So, try a couple more minutes. And now, let's put that timer on for three minutes. <coughs> oh, well. So, um, yeah, be back in a minute. All right. Bleep's going off. Sorry if you've got a bit of background noise, got the washing machine on as well. Um, right, I'm, I'm going to trust my instincts on this one. I'm going to turn the oven off because I reckon we're done. Let's get me oven glove. Take that out. That is looking phenomenal. Look at it, would you? I don't know what's going on here. But, I think it's gonna taste amazing anyway. So we're gonna let that cool down for a bit. And then uh, we'll come back and uh, take a look at this masterpiece. See you soon. Okay. Now's the time. Um, our brownie has had a couple of hours, two, two and a half, three hours to cool down. Um, so now's the time to get it out and check it. Hopefully it don't fall apart. So, um, got a plate. Just readjust you there so you can see what's going on. Um, Here's our chocolate brownie. Oh, I don't know, just look. Doesn't that just look amazing? I'm actually quite surprised at myself, I will be honest, but I haven't tasted any yet. So, right, let's undo the clip. So, 
those past. There's some thinner bits where I didn't spread it evenly enough, but it is what it is, I suppose. Um, no professional, only at the job I do. But I'm learning. So. There's got to be an easier way of doing this, getting this taper off. No, no, it's breaking. It's breaking. Make a big mess here. There we go. Oh, look, saved it. Got it out in one piece. That just looks like a massive chocolate pizza, doesn't it? Look at, look at it. So we're, uh, we're just taking a little bit off the corner here, shall we? Bit that's broke. There we go. Oh, do you know what? That looks perfectly done. We're uh, just going for a taste test. You know what? I think I've outdone myself here. Who needs Betty Crocker when you've got cooking with Scott, eh? Well, actually, I needed her because I needed the ingredients. Oh, it's lovely and chewy. Ever so slightly warm in the middle. Most of all, chocolatey. So, um, that's it from me today. And that's it, that's it from him. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed that one and I'll see you again next week for some more episodes. Have a great weekend and take care.